Hey guys, what's up people? I hope everyone will be fine. So in my video, I will discuss about some important topics related to your physiotherapy in orthopedic conditions. This is your fourth year subject. In third year, you have studied about orthopedics, but in this class, you have to study all the physiotherapy management. Now starting with chapter one, PT assessment for orthopedic conditions. In whole fourth year, you have to study about the subjective objective assessment plan so this is the full form of your soap format you have to learn all about your management in the case if i will talk about the fracture so in this case you have to learn what you will manage and what is the pt management in the cases of fracture the examiner may also ask about the assessment it may be subjective or objective in the case of chapter 3rd, specific fractures and dislocation. So the important topic is PT assessment and management related to your spinal fracture because in your 3rd year you have not studied much about your spinal fracture but in the case of 4th year it is really very important. If I will talk about chapter 4th, so Maitland, McKenzie and Mulligan technique are really very important. So try to learn these techniques because in the case after completing your physiotherapy also you can apply these techniques also. Now in the case of chapter 5th degenerative and inflammatory conditions. So in these cases the most frequently asked question is the assessment PT assessment. So learn about your frozen shoulder which is also called as periarthritic shoulder your rheumatoid arthritis, your spondylitis. These topics are really very important which is frequently asked in your exam. So try to learn about the PT assessment and the management. Now in the case of chapter 6 which is your infective conditions. So osteomyelitis, you have learned everything in your third year but in the case of fourth year you have to write the assessment, your management, what are the Physiotherapy management, you have to write all everything about it. Now in the case of TB spine, TB spine is also very important. In the case of chapter 7, which is define or review the postural abnormalities of a spinal column. In this chapter, if this question is asked in your exam, then you have to write about the flat back, scoliosis, low doses and you have to write the PT assessment and management as earlier also I have told you that you have learned everything in your third year but in the case of fourth year you have to learn the assessment and the management which is most important point now chapter 8 is deformities so the most important topics is your CTEV congenital telepus equinovarus your CDH Coxa vera, genuverum, genuvelgum or your recurvative. So these looks really very short but it is really asked in your exam. So try to learn these topics and try to learn the assessment and management because this is all about your fourth year. Now in the case of 9 chapter which is your poliomyelitis you have to write the PT assessment and management. Because in your earlier classes, you have learned everything related to your poliomyelitis. Now chapter 10th is your leprosy. So if I will talk about leprosy, then you have learned this chapter in your cardio. You can write this same as well as. Now in the case of amputation, amputation is really very important. And I think that each and every point you have to write everything about your amputations because in the case I will talk about uh, rehabilitation or in the case of cardio also in the case of amputation the question which is asked is above knee and below knee amputation you have to learn everything about your prosthetic training so in rehabilitation you will learn about orthosis and prosthosis if you want to make me a video on orthosis on prosthesis you can write in the comment section also now in the case of chapter 12 which is your spinal conditions 
In this chapter, the most important topic is your PIVD, prolapsed intervertebral disc. You will learn this in your sports also. Your spina bifida occulta, you have learned this in your neurology. Everything is related to each and every subject also. You have to learn this. Now in the case of chapter 13, which is your osteoporosis. It is not much more important. Now in the case of chapter 14, everything is same as your third year. But some topics are different from third year also. Like your excision orthoplasty. RSD because many students really don't know the full form also. In the case of your viva, the teacher can ask the full form. So learn this. Now in the case of AC joint injuries, your rotator cuff tears or you can say post-operative PT management because it is everything about your management. Now in the case of chapter 16 which is your elbow and forearm, it is not much more important. In the case of 18, your wrist and hand, total wrist orthoplasty is important. Now in the case of chapter 19, most important topic of your fourth year is total hip replacement and your total knee replacement. These two questions are really very important. Prepare these two questions. Now in the case of knee. So the most important topic is your TKR, total knee replacement. I have earlier told also that THR and TKR are really very important. Now in the case of ankle and foot, it is not much more important. So this is all about your physiotherapy in orthopedic condition. I hope this will help you out in your exam. So if you are having any doubt or any query related to this topic, you can comment in the comment session. So thank you for watching my video and keep smiling. Thank you.